After years spent digitising this unique record of recent history, the 1921 Census of England and Wales is here and available to view online, exclusively at Find My Past. Your ancestors' stories are waiting to be discovered. The journey starts here. Are you searching for your ancestor or searching for an address? Here, you can do both. Let's celebrate the pioneering women from the past by searching for Alice Bertha Claydon, one of Britain's first female police officers. We'll start with the basics and enter her name. Alice was born in 1881, but we're not sure where she was in 1921, so let's leave location blank for now. Then, ta-da, we bring the past to the present. This one looks like a match. We can choose to see the transcript or the original record image. If you have more information, try the advanced search, where you can add occupations, other household members and more to find the right person. Let's get back to Alice's census record. You can hover over the search results to make sure you've got the right record before purchasing. We'll check the preview, yes, that looks right, and make our purchase. Now here's the fun bit, where we can see who Alice was living with and what she was doing in 1921. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? It looks like Alice was living in shared housing with other female police officers. Be sure to check our occupational dictionary and discover more about your ancestors' day-to-day -day life. Plus, go undercover and explore their local area so you can picture yourself in their shoes. It's these little pieces of the past that help you understand your family and yourself. Become a family detective by saving the record to your family tree. Or begin your family history journey by starting a new one. Purchasing the image lets you see the original census record, often written in your ancestor's very own handwriting, making this document a precious family heirloom. There are a number of features that let you alter the image, such as adjusting the brightness and contrast, so you can discover your ancestors' records in the easiest way for you. You can even browse more census pages to see who else lived in the area. There are also related materials like the front of the census document, which contains the address. If you've bought the transcript and image, you can hover over your ancestors' entry to see the transcribed information pop up on the screen. Maybe you're doing a spot of house history to find out who lived where you now live, who laughed where you now laugh, and cooked where you now cook. With address search, you can find out. Some new evidence has come to light. Alice's address of Ixworth Place. We can search for it and see all the streets with that name, then a list of all houses on that street. When we explore the transcript and image, we can see who lived at the property in 1921 and preserve its history for all ages. This is as close as you can get to the walls of a historical building telling their amazing stories. From here, we could research further into Alice's case files, like how her father and three brothers were also police officers. Or we could trace the history of her residence. The 1921 census is just part of your family's rich history. There are even more stories to uncover and secrets to unlock within Find My Past's extensive collections. Don't wait to find out how your family's past could change your future. The 1921 Census, only online at Find My Past.